you try investing in Tampa lately, the freaking real estate market's out of control. Very hard to get a solid return on your investment, right? Maybe that's why you click that this video, right? Is that why you click this video? If so, let's jump into it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holt Wise TV. I'm going to help investors like you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio. I got to. I got to count to three there, or I forget, right, to say my little tagline right there. Now, I'm talking to people in Tampa today, right, because your money doesn't go that far in Tampa right now. The real estate market in e everywhere, real estate market everywhere in America right now is high. But it's very high in Tampa compared to where I'm at in Cleveland. And the investor I'm working with today, his name's Joey, and he's in Tampa, and I'm in Cleveland. And I'm helping Joey, Mr. Tampa, take his Tampa money and spread it way further by coming up here to Cleveland because we got properties in Cleveland that are way cheaper than what they are in Tampa. Joey, I'm going to show you a property. It's going to bring in 1100 a month. It's going to require less than 25 k out of your pocket. That's pretty badass, and I'm still going to hit your goals, right? Your goals that you gave to me, you wanted either a B or C grade single family. That is a check. You want something that's low risk, low maintenance, right? A good starter property. Check. You want something that you can just, you know, slowly build your portfolio one property at a time, right? You told me, uh, hey, man, I'm not like one of those super rich dudes out there in California that are just like, hey, man, I got $4 million. What are we going to do with it, right? No, I feel you, brother. You got to start somewhere, right? I started with one property, okay? One property, 2009, I bought my very first property, okay? Then I didn't buy my second property for a couple years after that. It takes time to get things going, but then it starts to snowball, right? Your, your business starts to snowball. Buying your first property, buying your second property, buying your third property, your fourth property, those are probably the hardest ones. Once you really start cooking, though, and all that money and everything, it just starts to compound. You understand the business a little bit more. That's when things get really moving for you. So don't think buying one at a time, starting with these low-risk properties, is, is not the way you want to do it. No, that's the great way to do it. That's the smart way to do it. you got to walk before you could run. And the cool thing about real estate investing is it doesn't necessarily take time away from your day job, right? Because you obviously need to continue earning that W-2 income to make savings to buy these rentals. Because, of course, the down payment on your rental property is much more than the cash flow you're going to get on a per-year basis, right? So this is a very long-term play, right? So if you're going to go for the long-term play, why not buy nice long-term assets, assets that you're going to be happy to own for the long haul? So let's jump into the numbers right after this commercial break. Welcome back. I hope you made the smart choice, used your thinking noodle there, and buy yourself some freaking Holden Wise merchandise, man. This looks great. But on to the reason you're here, the property, right? You're not here to look as awesome as me, but you're here to do some awesome investing. Am I right? 3447 Monticello Boulevard, Cleveland Heights, 44121. Just hit the market two days ago, right? This is super low-key, low-risk, single-family investment, right? This is something I like for investors who are trying to avoid being on the Tenants from Hell show, trying to avoid uh, getting into, you know, riskier situations, right? If you're looking for some low-risk stuff, guys, this is it, right? I like Cleveland Heights and the house that already has a tenant, right? Don't be uh, confused by the photos. These were the photos uh, prior to them putting in a tenant, right? Uh, all told, just a pretty nice, uh, reasonable single-family home. Yeah, it's a little dated, uh, but the neighborhood, you know, Cleveland Heights commands high rents. So we're already uh, going to be able to pick this property up with an existing tenant. This tenant paying 1100 a month, right? That would be 13200 for the year, right? 
you run your normal fixed and variable expense estimates, right? This is my anticipated performance of property similar to this, right? I believe you'll be bringing home $6,230 a year, right? I think you're going to spend approximately $6,970 a year on average running this property. But it's very important to note when you got a rental like this, and I tell you guys, like, I think you're going to spend like $6,970 a year. That's on average, and that doesn't mean you're going to spend that every year, right? Like, I have money going to things like your capital expenditures, right? That's your roof, your furnace, your hot water tanks, right? Roofs, last 30 years. Furnaces, last 30 years. Roofs, house like this. Uh, let me get another exterior photo again here. Just cruising through some of the other stuff. All right, looking at this, right? This house right here, this roof, this is probably about a $6,000 roof, right? So that's a capital expenditure. In your chart, I have you guys saving $660 a year. It doesn't mean Holton Wise keeps that money, right? That goes back to you. It's dispersed to you. But I don't want to do these videos and give you guys the thought that, like, you know, say the, this roof, right, you go 10 years, right? You don't ever have to do anything to the roof. I don't want you thinking that for 10 years you got an extra 660 bucks, right, of pure profit because I know – in 10 years that you're going to have to drop that $6,000, right? And then if you drop that $6,000, it would make that 11th year appear to be an unprofitable uh, year for you, right? Same thing with your furnaces and your hot water tanks. Furnaces, 30-year life expectancy costs about three grand. Hot water tanks, $1,000 is what they cost to replace. 15-year life expectancy, right? So you have to factor that stuff in. So when you see these estimates, understand where these numbers are coming from. And let's talk about uh, what the listing agent said. Lovely three-bed Cleveland Heights home. Original hardwood and built-in accent. This charming colonial. Oh, original hardwoods. I should say hardwoods and built-ins accent. This charming colonial. Got it. Classic kitchen with stove, fridge, and dishwasher included. Eat-in area with built-in cabinet. Opens to large living room with fireplace feature. Door off kitchen opens to small deck. Two bedrooms on first floor. Full bath with tub slash shower and closet for storage. Upstairs is huge bedroom with sitting area. Great getaway. Master suite. Finished basement area for additional living space. Separate laundry area. One car attached garage. In the heart of it all near University Circle and Coventry. University Circle and Coventry. Very nice areas, right? So that's what your listing agent said. But, you know, cutting through the normal Real estate agent, listing agent stuff. That's what I do here, of course, right? So you just have to understand the numbers, how it works out, right? With the expense, expense estimates that I just provided for you, they have this thing listed at 99 and a half. I think you could pick it up for about 95. If you pick it up for 95, you would only need to put down 23,750. We would get a bank to loan you the other 71 and a quarter. And that would result in an 11% cash on cash return estimate using that financing if you paid cash it would be a 7 cap right that's what's important to you and remember that factors in the fact that you got budgeted money being saved towards the roof the furnace the hot water tank cuz none of those items are new right you have to factor that in right so the years you have left on this investment prior to replacing them they're actually going to probably pay you a lot more than that 11%, but don't consider that profit as you're running your real estate business. Know that, yeah, that money's coming back to you, but it really ain't yours, dude, because the do the bill's coming due, right? You're going to get that big old $6,000 roof bid. You're going to get the furnace. You're going to get the hot water. Those are coming down the line, so make sure you're saving that money. Likewise, you also have to save for things like Repairs and maintenance, which mainly happen at your turnovers, and then also prepare for the inevitable uh, non-payment of rent. Now, this is a B-class investment, so that is going to be few and further between. A lot less likely for that kind of stuff to happen uh, frequently as it does in like the C and D neighborhoods. But know that in real estate investing, we can never eliminate all risks. All we can do is mitigate that, so you still need to budget for that stuff and that's what i do here on this show 
That's what I help real estate investors do. I make sure you guys understand these things as financial investments, right? I don't just come on here and talk about, like, built-in cabinetry and this or that, right? Because what are you? You don't really care about that. You want to know how much money you're probably going to make and what are the risks you're going to take on to try to make that money. That's what I do. So if anybody else out there is watching the show and you want a set of personalized videos just like this one, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your number. We'll call you, and we will talk to you about what makes you tick, and then we'll try to match you with the perfect property like we've done today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.